Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, which test cases needs to be automated? Let me answer. First of all, do we have to automate all test cases? The answer is no. We don't have to automate all the test cases. But based on what criteria we have to select the test cases and automate them. I'm going to answer in this session. First type of test cases that we have to automate are the test cases which needs to be tested repeatedly for every build. Okay, For every new version of the software, if you have to run the same test cases or verify the same test cases, such test cases need to be automated. Okay, So for every new version of the software, we have to repeatedly perform some testing as part of smoke, sanity, regression, whatever it may be, we have to repeatedly uh, run the test cases for every new version of the software. Such kind of test cases you have to automate. Okay. Second type of test cases that need to be automated. That is tests that take long time to complete. Okay. If you want to run some test cases, okay, and perform testing with the help of test cases, but uh, every test case is taking good amount of time. Okay. Lengthy test cases. They are very lengthy uh, where a lot of verifications need to be done. And uh, generally that particular test case to complete will take good time. Okay. So such kind of test cases also need to be automated. Then third type of test cases that need to be automated are the test cases that are complex in nature. Okay. In depending on application type, some test cases will be, will be, some test cases will be kind of complex. Okay. They will be complex in nature and they take more manual effort and time. Okay. A lot of head need to be put into that while testing and, you know, a lot of time it will take such kind of test cases we need to automate. Okay. Then test cases that need to be run on multiple test environment. Okay. These days, Okay, it is there are a lot of browsers, there are a lot of operating systems and a lot of other things. Okay, a combination of things we just put into a particular environment and perform testing of the application. For example, uh, if you're testing a web application, uh, you may choose like Windows uh, 11, some Chrome browser version or Windows uh, or Mac OS and some browser version, Safari browser version like that. Some combinations are there. Okay, such kind of environments that we have to test. The same test case need to be run on this particular environment, that is Windows environment, Mac environment on different browsers, Windows environment on different browsers. Okay. So the same test case need to be run five to six times because or more in mobile testing or something, right? You will have a lot of mobile devices on which every test case need to be performed. Okay. We have to test such kind of test cases which need to be run on multiple test environments need to be automated. Okay. Then data driven test cases also need to be automated. There may be some situations where you will come across a test uh, which need to run the same test need to be run multiple times depending on how many sets of data are there. Okay, for example, there is a login functionality of the application that uh, that need to be tested as part of the test case. But uh, there are you know they have given you now hundred credentials. Okay, different hundred users credentials they have given, but test case is same. That means that there is only one test case, but it need to be run hundred times. So if you have to perform such kind of test case manually, just imagine that for every set of data you have to manually perform that, that will take a lot of time. Rather, if you automate such kind of test cases, automation tool can do it in a better way and a fastest way. Okay. So the same test case with multiple sets of data, such kind of data driven test cases also need to be automated. And finally, test cases which involve entering large amount of data. Okay. While performing the testing, if you have to keep on uh, uh, entering data, a lot of data, like lengthy forms are there, which you need to finish. Okay, for uh, testing that particular functionality of the application, such kind of test case also need to be automated. Okay, test cases which involve large entering large amount of data, say filling long forms, such kind of test case also need to be automated. This kind of test cases need to be automated. So, hope guys, you got the answer on uh, which test cases need to be automated. These are the different type of test cases that need to be automated in real time. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.